salams everyone. And I'm saying salams to you guys, the family, and you know, for the new viewers, you just join the family as well, because you know, on hashtag LNT, we have a huge family, and trust me when I say, it's a variety of people. And uh, tonight uh, is a very special night. Uh, tonight, we actually get to celebrate uh, and have a good time, because honestly, the decorations behind me uh, are looking really fresh. I'm wearing a red tie today, uh, the black suit, and ready to jump in to tonight's episode. But before we do that, uh, episode 18 of Hashtag LNT, the late night talk with me, you know, your favorite man. Uh, if you don't know me already, you guys already know me, right? Ahmed Ali, you know. But before we jump into tonight's episode, uh, we got to go and check out what's trending in today, a.k.a. what's popping. So let's go and check that out. We're back very short, so do stay tuned. Welcome back, dear viewers, and uh, inshallah, we are about to kick off tonight's episode with uh, a few of what's trending. Uh, and, and honestly, with what's trending today, when Trump says something, it happens right away. Uh, and uh, he's going to do it. Uh, actually, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, you know, if, if you check out Jimmy Kimmel, uh, he has the same show on, you know, that's uh, the U.S. version of my show, The Late Night, uh, the late night Show, The Late Night Talk. Uh, but this guy, Donald Trump, um, uh, you know, 2,000 lies are compiled on Jimmy Kimmel's show. And, uh, you know, he's only going to do the horrible ones. Now, if, if you guys are checking up on the news and what's going on in the Middle East and, uh, and, 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 all, and all that news, the U.S., France, and the U.K. have bombarded Syria with 105 missiles. Uh, those are a lot. Sounds like it was raining down there. But uh, we have a video uh, shot by by a Syrian civilian. Let's, uh, let's, let's check out what, uh, what that is. Oh my God, here's a missile. said it was raining it was actually raining uh, but it was raining fire we don't want to laugh uh, but um, you know a lot of people are thinking that this this target this uh, targeted uh, civilians but it didn't it targeted the the, the uh, chemical weapons areas uh, where they manufactured them and, and kept them uh, in storage that's uh, what was happening in that picture but yeah uh, we don't know up to now what Russia's response is to all this but you know you just have to wait and wait and see what the news has for us or what Russia has for us uh, you know, planned. But a year ago, the second of what's trending, a year ago, a game called Fortnite, I didn't know anything about it, nor the millions of people, billions of people who play games, um, you know, the, we, we, we didn't know anything about this game. Uh, but uh, three, or five, three, four or five days ago, this game was launched on Apple, on the App Store, and uh, it made around $1.5 million dollars. You know, that just saying that within the first three days. That means that Apple is, uh, you know, this logo right here. Apple is what's all about. You know, when it was on Android or when it was on PC, no one played it. But, you know, once it got on iPhone, uh, it just boomed. $1.5 million. That's almost uh, 1 million pounds and one, uh, 1 million euros. But that's a lot just in three days. But... We are going to go jump in into what's today's topic. And you guys are in for a treat. Trust me when I say that. So let's go for a very, very quick break. And we're back very short. So do stay tuned. Nowadays, almost everyone has someone to look up to. And honestly, whether it be an actor, actress, a famous athlete, a, a, a musician, God forbid, we don't want to, you know, but, you know, just someone they admire. 
we don't want to get into details, but you know, it's someone they admire. They always, you know, follow up on their news and, and uh, on their updates and try to imitate their actions and behaviors. Uh, and, you know, even sometimes they, you know, this guy right there, this little kid, uh, is imitating the, 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 the celebration of Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo, when, when he, uh, you know, he's like, what, 10, 11? And he's already imitating. Um, yeah, I think his shirt is backwards, no? But yeah, anyways, this guy just wants to show that he, he's acting like Ronaldo. See, th that's what I mean. Uh, and, you know, sometimes they even dress up like them, as we saw right there. E both dress up and dress up and uh, act like them at the same time. You know, and uh, dress ups are only for Halloween. But, you know, when, when you're celebrating Halloween, you see a lot of people dressed up like so-and-so. We don't want to get into names. But for some, you even see their photos on, on their walls, all, all, all over their walls at home. Or sometimes they're on the wallpaper of that person's phone. And if, you know, if, if that famous individual comes to their hometown, then they go nuts. They go crazy. Uh, you know, they start jumping around with joy uh, and, and try to go and see the venue. But, you know, and if God forbids they die, uh, then you see them crying 24-7 day and night uh, and, uh, you know, try to mourn over them. Uh, and, you know, they, they, they have memorials for them and stuff and, and memories. Uh, you know, if, they're like, if, if, if they have a good legacy, then why not? But honestly, one of the things that, uh, you know, surprised me a few days ago, uh, one of the most famous uh, music producers, he Instagrammed a short video of him saying that he's sick and he won't be Instagramming anymore uh, for a couple of days until he, you know, recovers. And everyone just went nuts. Everyone went crazy saying, oh, my God, we can't live without your tweets and your Snapchats and your Facebook posts. People are addicts anyways. But, you know, back in the days, individuals who were looked up to were intellectuals or reformers. You know, we have Albert Einstein uh, and we have people like George Washington or Abraham Lincoln, one of the founding fathers. But now, nowadays, um, people look up to Cristiano Ronaldo for his uh, skills in football uh, and his uh, charitable works. Uh, and, and, and this guy, honestly, we'll get to him in a second, but I never knew Cristiano Charitable works in organizations until this episode, uh, you know, but this guy is good in soccer. But this guy, Denzel Washington, if you don't know who Denzel Washington is, I don't know under what rock you're living, because this guy, I mean, come on, this guy who, you know, played Malcolm X uh, and, uh, you know, other movies as well. Uh, this, this guy is a legend when it comes to acting. And, uh, you know, he, he has become an icon uh, for, uh, you know, the, the, the admirers uh, of, of movies and, and the theaters. Uh, one of the guys that love Denzel Washington is me. Shout out to Denzel Washington. Uh, but, you know, pe people look up to uh, Ellen DeGeneres, you know, for her uh, philanthropy, uh, for her great heart, her good heart. Uh, and the smile she puts on the millions of people across the world, her fans, she always supports them. She always, you know, uh, she gives them prizes, uh, although I haven't been on there, but, you know, we'll get there once. Uh, but, you know, uh, maybe one day we'll invite her to LNT, put on that hijab and bring it to a hashtag LNT. We're going to cut that. Anyways, I don't know. I don't think that's going to happen. But, you know, uh, things like that. People look up to individuals like the ones I mentioned uh, because... Uh, of the things they have given back to society. Now, tonight, who do you look up to? I want to talk to that camera right there. Yeah, fix that camera right there. Yeah. Who do you look up to? And that's what tonight's question is. Who is your role model? Is it Ahmed Ali? Is it Hassan Alaq? Is it Ali Maithan? Is it Cecil Hanin? <laughs> we don't, we're trying to celebrate tonight, you know? <laughs> we're just making up random names. But uh, let us know who your role model is. Uh, plus 964-774-067-1836. Uh, <laughs> one of the ways you can call us uh, is, you know, pick up your phone, open WhatsApp, uh, dial the number shown right now on the screen. Uh, and, uh, you know, you can call us. You can send us a voice or written message at the same number. Uh, and let us know who... Your role model is, uh, you know, uh, we'll take a very short break. I'll be back very, very short. So do stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, welcome back, dear viewers. Uh, we still laughing about that name. We don't want to mention who that name is because it's, uh, it's showing up in the ending titles. If you guys want to guess, you know, you can go ahead uh, and comment on uh, uh, on YouTube. Uh, out of out of all the names that show up on the end, who do you think is Simo Al Hanim? Uh, who that name refers to? Anyway, uh, we're trying to go back and talk about tonight's episode. Who your role model is? Uh, tonight is a very special episode, and you guys, as I mentioned earlier, you guys are going to be in for a treat. Uh, to mention as well, we are live on Facebook, so you can go comment on there. Uh, and yeah, yeah, one, 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 the producer just, just reminded me, you know, it's, it's good that you guys comment on our Facebook live feed, you know, salams, Ya Hussein, please send my salams, and you know, I have this request. Uh, you know, we have a couple of people on our Facebook page that are saying salams and sending the salams. But honestly, uh, this is not welcome to Karbala. Don't mix me up with Muhammad Ali. Uh, I'm a bit shorter. I'm a bit lighter skin. Uh, I'm a bit funnier. No, I'm kidding. I'm, I, I love Muhammad Ali, one of my best friends. Uh, but this is not welcome to Karbala. Don't, you know, send, send your salams, but on, on Sundays, on Tuesdays, and on Thursdays, don't send your salams on my thing. You can, but I'd rather you guys tell me what you guys think. Uh, and, you know, you, you, you can say my role model is dot, 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 and then, you know, send your salams. And then I will definitely read it out loud. Uh, but if there's no uh, answer, I won't read those comments out loud. Just throwing that out there. So we are live on Facebook right now uh, to let us know. Uh, I'm, so the number shown below right now, plus 964 774 Zero six seven eighteen thirty six. Very very easy um, answer. Very easy uh, question that you can answer uh, and let us know what you guys think. Because honestly, tonight is all about you guys. Because you guys are smart. You guys are loyal. Change. All right. Now tonight uh, we're talking about role models. If you guys didn't know from the question down there, who is your role model? I got, I I want to know who your role model is. Now role models are important. Because uh, honestly, one, one, one of the ways that inspire us uh, to continue doing what we do or uh, reform what we're doing or change what we're doing uh, are the people we look up to. Uh, you know, if, if a person looks up to a, a if, you know, if, if he's not in a good physique and he looks up to uh, someone famous who's in the gym always uh, or he's an athlete and he has a, a, a good physique, uh, then that person will go look up to that person gets motivated by them uh, and helps them out, uh, you know, through th in the gym. Maybe if you get to meet them, you can ask them for some tips on how, how, how they have the six ab, uh, you know, and, or, or, or they ha how they have the muscles. Uh, but, you know, you can always comment, hashtag LNT, and we'll get you back on how to get the abs and get the muscles. Uh, but uh, they help us become uh, the people we want to become. You know, choosing wisely uh, means that you'll be positively influenced uh, and encouraged to be the best person you want to be. That's what choosing wisely is. And choosing wisely means you choosing uh, the role model. I don't know what this cameraman is doing, but, uh, you know, he's, he's just celebrating. You know, he's, he's having a good time. Uh, but we do have a call. Uh, from? Uh, so we do have a call from Muhammad Al Musawi from from the USA. Salamun alaikum. Salamun alaikum. Salamun alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome to hashtag Gal and T episode eighteen. Uh, and tonight's question is, who is your role model? Uh, thank you for having me. I think my role model would be somebody uh, that's just recently got well known. Uh, Liverpool's Muhammad Salah. Uh, this guy, he started from, from like the slums of Egypt and uh, with nothing much. You know, I just read upon him and what he does and how he went through. His upbringing yeah. was difficult. And then all of a sudden, you know, he's still young. He's in his uh, mid-20s. Now he's the uh, team player for Liverpool. And he said that he always aspired to play for the team. And now he's you know, out of the playing for them. And he's their, their best player. You know, mm -hmm. he won the Premier League three times in one month. That's, that's making history. And then he takes that success and he channels it to philanthropy work and charitable work. The other yeah. days, we had, like, I think, an ad for you know, fighting drugs or something like that. 
So I think that's very inspirational. And I think, you know, Muhammad Salah, Liverpool's Muhammad Salah is one of the best women out there for the Shabab and the youth today to, to look up to. Yep. Mm. I mean, uh, j j just a simple question. Do you imitate Muhammad Salah? Uh, you know, do you have his pictures on your walls and stuff? Or on your on your wallpaper? Uh, on your phone? Just, just I mean, it's better than having Messi because uh, clearly Messi does not up to Muhammad Salah. Cut the, the line. No, 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 Cut the line. Cut the line. That's it. That's it. That's it. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But, you know, um, last time I checked, you know, Suarez was playing for Liverpool, but when he won uh, the best score for... Uh, in, the, in the Premier League, he ended up in Barcelona alongside Messi. So I think that's the future for Mohamed Salah uh, playing for Barcelona. But, you know, we never know the future. Uh, okay, we'll agree uh, to disagree. All right, all, right, all right. Thank you very much, uh, Brother Mohamed uh, no Musa from the U.S. for joining us tonight. Thank you very much. Um, but we are back on tonight's topic. And tonight's topic is, and the question that revolves around the topic, on tonight's topic is, who is your role model? Who is your role model? I don't know who your model is, you know. I, I'm I'm not in your brain to know, but you know you can let you can let me know uh, by dialing the number shown below plus nine six four seven seven four zero six seven eighteen thirty six. Uh, I have that mem number memorized in the back of my head from the times I, I I repeat it. It's episode eighteen, so I have to, you know, it's I, I repeat it like three four times in each episode, uh, just to remind you guys. So just to sh anyways, I don't know. Yeah, we don't we don't want to get into that, uh, but tonight. Uh, they keep on repeating this name, Siso and Simo al Hanin. Uh, you know, do, do let us know who you guys think uh, th th this name is. But, anyways, uh, now, uh, uh, tonight we're just going to celebrate. You know, tonight we're going to have a, a, a good time uh, and, you know, talk about role models. Because, honestly, uh, when you go to Google what role models are or, or, or how to choose a role model, um, you get a lot of links. One of the links that uh, the, uh, the co-producer found uh, were on WikiHow. Now, they have uh, a, a, a few advices on, you know, how to choose a, a, a role model. Number one, they said choose a role model, you know, to help you become the best version of yourself. A role model that can give guidance and advice and offer real-world examples of how to achieve your best. Number two on their list is consider someone who has a sense of purpose, a sense of purpose. A good role model would be someone who knows who they are. You don't want someone who seems perfect but doesn't have a sense of purpose in life. You want someone who won't pretend to be someone they are not. Consider number three, consider someone who interacts well with others. This person should be kind and can communicate well with people. People are easy to understand and emulate when they communicate well. Now, the, 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 the lists that, that, that I've mentioned uh, are, you know, they're, 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 uh, they're actually very reasonable. Uh, but before we say why they're very reasonable, we do have a text message. Uh, uh, text message from Jenny, okay? Jenny uh, Muhammad from Pakistan. Is it Jenny or Muhammad? Muhammad from Pakistan. Uh, I look up to myself, oh wow, oh, and, and try to become a better me every day. Perfect. I mean, if you look up to yourself, I'm, 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 trying, to, I'm trying to comprehend that. How do you look up to yourself? But, you know, uh, if, if you do, that's, that's great. Muhammad from Pakistan, thank you uh, for, for joining us tonight. You're probably trying to improve yourself. And that's great. That's honestly amazing. Um, now, uh, I, I was mentioning earlier a, a, a few uh, advices on how to choose a role model. One of the points that actually m made me, uh, you know, comprehend the idea of choosing uh, a role model uh, was choosing someone uh, who has a purpose in life. Uh, choosing someone that uh, teaches you how to develop within your life or d d develop within, you know, the, the framework that you're in within the profession that you are in. Uh, you know, if, if, if you're in engineering, uh, you know, you look up to someone who, I don't know who, I don't know anyone who's engineering. Uh, but, uh, but always look up to someone that has a purpose in life because they will help you in achieving that, in achieving whatever you want to achieve. But let's go and see what the public has to say about 
tonight's question. Noam Chomsky. Noam Chomsky. Because he's, uh, he knows what he's talking about, and he, he goes in on the US government when no one else will. <laughs> I have so many, so many role models. Say one, say one, say one. Uh, Joshua. Why? Why? Because he represents like the whole of Britain and everyone, basically. He's a genuine person. Yeah, welcome back. Uh, it's, it's good to know that people uh, do have role models in their life. Uh, but one, one of the fa why is the microphone keep on playing? I don't know why it keeps on moving. But thank you very much uh, for, for, for letting us know uh, what you guys think. Uh, now, uh, I think we do have another. No, cause let's go back to Jenny's message. Now, Jenny uh, from the USA, she says, my role model is my mother. Uh, she tries her best to me happy, so to make me happy, uh, and I adore her so much. She is the best mother in the world and the way all mothers should be. That's great, honestly. Um, that's beautiful for someone to have a role model uh, and her role model being their mother. Um, that's very important because honestly, uh, one of the most important things uh, within, uh, especially a female's life, uh, is uh, you know trying to be her best within the family and uh, in uh, at home as well. Um, now, we think we think we, we have another uh, voice note coming in. Oh wow! Okay. All right. Oh, oh, all right. Uh, thank you for that. But I look like I, th I, I think I look like you know one of those uh, you know rich guys that wear the, the, the fancy stuff. But you know tonight we're trying to celebrate. And uh, what are we celebrating tonight? Uh, we are celebrating the uh, a very special occasion. Uh, honestly, uh, we're celebrating an individual's, um, you know, beginning of a career, if you will, uh, or beginning of a legacy, if you will, uh, you know, uh, continuing of what we were saying before, you know, uh, the stuff that we mentioned earlier. Wow, <laughs> I, I, I do look good, but, uh, you know, it, does it? It matches the watch. No way. And the ring and the other ring. And, you know, I added a new addition if you guys... Uh, didn't notice. I had a new bracelet that says "La Fata Illa Ali Wa La Saif Illa Dil Fakar." You know that was that was uh, a new addition to my collection. I had to wait for that, but you know, uh, finally we got it. But uh, you know, uh, the, the the points that I mentioned earlier about Wiki how uh, that you know choosing someone uh, that will elevate you, that will make you perfect, those might suit a, a, a ordinary individual, an ordinary person. Uh, but honestly, one or a list of individuals uh, that would lead you to perfection, guaranteed, or your money back, are the people that we adore and hold tight to our hearts. Uh, you know, today marks the Mab'ath and Nabawi. Mab'ath and Nabawi, if you're not familiar with these two words, uh, are the beginning of the legacy of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, where he began to preach. Uh, Islam, first to his family, uh, and then to everyone else. Uh, you know, uh, Prophet Muhammad, uh, and you know who else is worthy, uh, worthy of uh, you know being the best role model out there. Um, uh, you know, the the the, the guys are telling me I look good, uh, but the best creation, Prophet Muhammad, the best creation who possessed. Uh, almost, if not all the characteristics, the great characteristics, the positive characteristics out there, uh, you know, uh, I certainly agree with that. And honestly, um, uh, he left a legacy behind for me to learn from and for you guys to learn from as well. If you're not familiar uh, with who Prophet Muhammad is, I advise uh, you go search, uh, you know, the, the, the proper uh, sites or the proper 
uh, sources when you're learning about Prophet Muhammad because honestly there are a lot of people who try uh, to place misconceptions within the legacy of Prophet Muhammad calling him uh, the prophet of the sword or the messenger of blood uh, and things like that um, we really we don't need to you know confront those individuals and refute their ideas because uh, you know if, if you're an intellect uh, and you know how to read and where to go to read uh, then you will know who Prophet Muhammad is or learn the best things about him anyways but if we want to be successful in life in, in life you know in life we need to follow in the footsteps of the individuals who bring us to perfection or make us perfect but thank you for joining us tonight tonight was a blessing uh, these guys are celebrating I'm celebrating I love Christ tonight thank you very much for joining us tonight Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh left hand we swipe